where we honor God, we love families, we serve others, and we pursue excellence. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia Nuevo Comienzo. And we want to welcome you, all of you that are, uh, well, first we want to welcome all our NBC family, and we want to welcome all those that are visiting by audio or video. And what all we ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive. God has something for you. Amen. So, praise God. Amen. Today we're going to be talking about let God arise daily. Not just once in a while. A while back, back way back in uh, January, I talked a little bit about this. Let God arise big in you. Amen. But we need to do is we need to let God arise big in us daily on a daily yeah. basis. Amen. Because yeah. you know what? <laughs> we got to speak the word. Yes, and do. we can't be ashamed. You know? you know what? Because the world is enraged right now. The world is mad and they want to let you know. Amen. So, but we got to, we can't respond the same way they do. We got to respond. We got to speak the word. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. So prepare yourselves to receive. You know what? God's not finished with you. He has great plans for you. None of them include defeat. That's it. So we got to make ourselves available. Amen. So praise God. I know that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. You yeah. got to tell yourself that each and every day. Every day. Amen. Because you hear all kinds of negative things. The world will bombard you with negative things all the time. And you hear these things, you know. And if you hear them, you're going to meditate on it. So if you meditate on it and you don't renew your mind, you're going to speak it out. And it's going to come out and you're going to sow negative seeds. But the Bible says death and life are in the power of the words you speak yeah. in, the, in, in your tongue. Your tongue. So don't speak it out. Amen. Say, whoa, I want to renew my mind with mm -hmm. the word of God. I'm not going to say that. So know that you're a winner, you're a champion, and you're an overcomer for him. Amen. Mm -hmm. Woo, hallelujah. Praise God. I'm excited. I'm going to go. So grab your sword and let's make this declaration together. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Here's my sword. Where's yours? <laughs> Amen. Praise God. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I'm boldly convinced my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. A few Sundays back, I don't know if you uh, remember this, but I stood on the word. Amen. I put it down and I stood on top of it. <laughs> but we need to stand on the word of God. Amen. Not only stand on the word, we got to speak it out. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Speak it out. No hold back. That's what the enemy wants you to do. It says, you know what? You're not good enough. And he's going to say negative things about you. And you'll feel embarrassed, you know, or feel ashamed. He says, if you're ashamed, if God says, you know, if you're ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you. Mm -hmm. So let it out. Don't hold it back. I got a few uh, scripture breaks I want to read for you. We're going to be talking about let God arise daily. This one is called arise. When God says to you, arise, it means that you have been uh, doing well where you are. But it's time to step up to another level. Amen. We're moving. We're, the word of God says we're growing. We're maturing in the things of God. Hey, you're moving up just like climbing the ladder. You know, you're one ring at a time. Amen. But it says it's time to step up to another level. You're maturing. You know what? This uh, world system, you know, you, you get promoted to another grade. You go until you graduate, amen. It says, God does not intend for you to stay where you started. A lot of us have been doing the same thing over and over and over. That's insane. You know, doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. And you ain't doing nothing about it. Ooh, hallelujah. Praise God. <laughs> God doesn't intend for you to stay where you are. He gifted you. He gifted you and he put you here to win. Be a winner, not be a loser. And not just to sit back on your Kumusiyama and do nothing. Yeah, yeah. He wants you to participate. He wants you to be yeah. involved. Amen. Ooh, and we get involved in all kinds of worldly things. We got to get involved in the things of God. Yeah. God wants to use you. And he put you here to win. He says, you know what? I have a mission for you. What is my mission, Lord? This is what I want you to do. You're a minister of reconciliation. Bringing the gospel, the good news to the world. Amen. Bringing people to Christ. Amen. Ooh. Praise God. You're an ambassador. What's an ambassador? An ambassador is you're his mouthpiece here on earth. But you got to speak the word. When you speak the word, you know, things happen. Amen. And you release the word to go and do what it's supposed to do. Amen. Amen. Woo. 
So God did not intend for you to stay where you where you started. Yeah. No, he's launching you from there until you get up. You cannot get out, move on, or press on. Arise means a person is at a, le a lower level than what they should be. There's an enemy there called average. Yeah. And everybody wants you to just be average. Amen. Mm -hmm. he, and there's an enemy there. It's called average. Don't accept. God is, say, is saying, go past your average. Yeah. He wants you to climb higher and go up. Just like you climbing that ladder, you know. One run at a time. So you want to get to the top of the roof, you got to go up. Okay. Amen. So he says, "Go." God is saying, go past average. Come up higher. Arise where I have much more to show you. I have much more for you to do. I have great plans for you. None of them include defeat. That's it. He's got great plans for you. You know, he's already qualified you. He doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies you. Yes. Amen. So you're already qualified. Don't don't be waiting for the world or somebody else to qualify you. Mm -hmm. God has already qualified you. Yes, and he, yes. you know the Bible says that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. You need some strength. Well, you need to plug into the source yeah. and stay connected and stay full. <laughs> Praise God. Yeah. Um, yeah, let God arise. Thank you. No, let me cook the feed. Isaiah 60 and 1 says this. It says, Rise, shine, for the light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen up on you. Man, you got to let him rise up. In other words, another, 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 in Timothy tells us, stir up the gift of God. Yes. Amen. He's put a gift in you. Stir it up. Stir yes. yourself up. You know, the football season's here, you know, and I remember all the pack rallies. You know, we used to go in there and stir ourselves up. Man, we're going to win, man. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, as children of God, we need to stir ourselves up each and yes. every day. You're going into a world, and there's giants out there waiting for you. Mm -hmm. Cares, concerns, sickness, yes. you know, all kinds of things waiting on you. Yes. you know, but you got to stir yourself up and say, you know what? <laughs> Greater is he that sent me than he that sent me. Yes. I don't care what's waiting out there. You know what? Just to have that David attitude and say, I don't care what giants are waiting out there. <laughs> Greater is he that's in me. I know who's backing me. I know who I am. And I'm going to defeat them. all them giants that are waiting on me. Yes. They can wait if they want to. But if they know better, they better start running. Because <laughs> I'm <a> coming. <laughs> Praise God and be on fire for God. Yes. Let God arise daily. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Mm -hmm. Listen to this. Let God arise. Let your enemies of cares, troubles, worries, anxiety, sickness, be gone. Yes. Amen. What am I going to do? I'm going to speak the word. Jesus took all the stripes for me at, at, at the cross. You know, mm -hmm. he took all these things, all these cares, all these concerns on me. Mm -hmm. So, you know what? I've got a mission to complete. And if I'm going to complete my mission, I got to cast it on him. I got to let God arise. Yes. And I'm going to press on with him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because I can do all things. It says, let God, let go and let God. Yes. That means cast it all on him. Give it, give it all to him. Amen. Says, I like this. Stay battle ready. Yeah. If you don't know who you're in battle, you need to know. Mm -hmm. I've got all kinds of goodies to show you here in a few minutes. But <laughs> <laughs> we fight a spiritual battle. Yes. And you need the word with you. You need the word and you need to speak the word. Mm -hmm. You can't be silent. That's it. Amen. You can't defeat a spirit. You can't fight a spiritual battle with the flesh. Mm -hmm. You lose. That's it. You gotta fight it with the word. Mm -hmm. When you fight it with the word, that's what Jesus did, and defeated the enemy. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. It says confessing the word, confess the truth. The word, the truth is gonna set you free. Keep going. The God arrives later, so enemies will be scattered. Okay, we're gonna be reading this. And I showed it to you way back in January, so we're going to read it again. And I highlight it where it says let mm. seven times. It says let. Wow. You got to let. You got to let it happen. Mm. Amen. You need to let it happen. It says uh, Psalm 68. Mark these down. You know, you guys that are watching, you guys that are listening, <laughs> take notes. Write these down. If, you know, write them down and go check them out later on. Okay. But it says, Psalm 68, 1, 2, 3, and uh, King James Version says, let God arise. Yeah. You got to let him rise up. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't keep him down. You can't hide him. 
You got to let, let him arise big in you. Amen. It says, and let his enemies be scattered. Let them also that hate him mm -hmm. flee before him. Number two says, as smoke is driven away, so drive them away. Yeah. As wax melts before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of God. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. You know, they may not be afraid of you, but they know who's yeah. backing you. Yeah. And they know who you are. And they know whose property you belong, who you belong to. Yeah. And then, who says, number three says, but let the righteous be glad. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, if you're listening to all the doom and gloom, all the sad stories mm. going on out there, I, <laughs> if you're staying busy listening to all this stuff, you know, since you, you got to be glad, you ain't going to be glad. You're going to be sad. Be sad. That's it. You know, I've said this many times, but Christians, believers should be the happiest people. Why? Because we know the yes. truth. And the truth is going to set us free. Amen. But he says, let the righteous, that's us, be glad and let them rejoice. But you don't know what's happening. Man, did you hear about this? And people are going to come and they're going to share these things with you. You got to be ready. Amen. You got to be stirred up. So when they yes. come, you say, you know what? I have the victory. I have Jesus. Mm -hmm. You need Jesus. Amen. Share him when he says share. Mm -hmm. You know, but if they're going to share some negative things and yeah. bad things, I'm going to share some positive things. And I'm going to let them know why I have the victory. Yeah. Because I'm letting God rise big in me. Amen. Yeah. Says, let them rejoice before God. Yea, let them exceedingly rejoice not just rejoicing but exceedingly rejoice and it says let is used seven times in these verses so i gotta let it you got to do. happen i've got something to do i've got responsibility mm -hmm. i have a choice and i gotta let this happen amen i gotta let god arise it says let god arise in you big time daily amen and keep going first peter 5 7 says what it says mm -hmm. casting all care upon him because he cares for you there's yeah. going to be all kinds of cares out there and you can take them if you want them but you don't have to That's it. he says his word says to give it to him cast it on him he took it at the cross and he wants it give it back to him you know says hey this is not for me That's i'm it. not receiving it People, you know what? I'm not a, just a pale bucket. You know, the people just come and dump all their trash on me. Yeah. <laughs> I take my trash to the dumpsters and I leave it there. No. And I take it to them. I cast it and give it to them, you know. And I don't go on and take it back. Mm. I trust them. You know why? Because I've got a mission. Yes. And I need all these weights off of me. I want all this mess off of me yes. so that I can go and Thank do you. what he wants me to do. And I can flow in him. Amen. Yeah. And not be weighed down with all this extra junk, you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mark Harmon, I mean, if you can find uh, uh, Matthew uh, 6, 33 and 34. But it says, it says, 30, verse 34 down here. Well, first Matthew 6, 33 says, but seek first, okay? Yes. Again, in, in, the, in the job world, there's always, what, priorities. Mm -hmm. <laughs> first, you got to be there. And yeah. then you got job responsibilities. Yes. What's your job responsibility? Mm -hmm. Amen. My 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 first priority is says, get up and praise my God and mm -hmm. says, Thank you, Lord, for waking me up. Mm -hmm. I'm on his wake up list. Praise God. So <laughs> me, I got some responsibilities to do. Yes. Amen. He says, Seek first the kingdom of God, his righteousness, and all these things shall be given unto you as mm -hmm. well. Now 34 says this. Says, therefore, don't worry about tomorrow. But tomorrow will worry about itself. Each it. day has enough troubles of its oh, own. That's for sure. oh, Amen. So you know what? I'm not going to bring all the worries of tomorrow mm -hmm. here, you know, or next week or next month. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just going to cast. I'm going to take care of today. Let's deal yeah. with today. My first priority today is serve him. Mm -hmm. Honor him. You know, yes. let him rise up big in you. Amen. Yes, Praise yeah. God. Thank you, Carmen. Good. Now, John uh, 8, 31 and 32, King James and New Living Translation says this. Mm -hmm. It says, New King James says, Then Jesus said to those Jews who believed him, If you abide in my word, and yes. you are my disciples indeed, you shall know the truth, and the truth 
shall make you free. The truth is going to set you free. So you got to have the word of God in you. You're in a negative world. And you're going to hear the negative things. But you know what? When you have the word in you, you know the truth. And I'm going to say, you know, that's not for me. I'm not receiving that. You know, I just don't go around like a sponge getting all these things coming to get me, you know. <laughs> I say, nope, that's not for me. I want to soak it up and be a sponge when I'm hearing the word of God. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody's preaching the word or somebody, I'm reading the word. I'm going to be a sponge and I'm going to soak it all in. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to negative things, I'm going to reject those things. So I said, nope, that's not for me. Reject, delete. Mm -hmm. Now, the New Living Translation says what? Mm -hmm. The New Living Translation says the same thing. You go to the next one. Mm -hmm. Says, New Living Translation says, Jesus says to the, to, to the people who believed in him, mm -hmm. you are truly my disciples if you remain faithful to my teachings. Yes. We got to be faithful to his teachings. I mean, we got to do what the word of God says. He be hearers and doers of the word of God. Amen. Yes. Woo, hallelujah. And you will know the truth and the truth will set, set you, you free. free. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, a lot of times we go around confessing the wrong things. Mm -hmm. And we can have what we say. Yeah. And you keep saying it. <laughs> Somebody used to say this all the time. You know, hey, the, the seasons have changed. And winter is coming. Fall is coming. So guess what? You know, I always catch a cold. Oh. In the winter. Oh. So guess what? You're going to catch a cold. You want it? You can have it. Yeah. You're going to catch it for sure. You can have whatever you say. So quit saying that. Don't say it anymore. You know, this happens to me all the time. Well, quit saying that. You're not going to get it all, all the time. Not anymore. Amen. So it's going to either make you free or set you free. Regardless, the word of God is going to make you free or set you free. But you got to get the word in you. Amen. So let go of circumstances in your life that are out of your control. And keep us from fulfilling all. That keeps us from fulfilling all God wants us to do. Mm -hmm. He's got great plans for you. None of them include defeat. That's it. So you know what? <laughs> I'm going to stay free so that I can go and do all the things he wants me to do. And he's got things for you to do. So don't let the world say, people say, or whoever your enemy says, you know what? You're not good enough. You can't do that. That's not for you. That's for somebody else. That's, I say, no, that's what God wants me to do. And you know what? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. So you can't fight a spiritual Amen. battle with a physical strength. That's you lose. Trust and lean on God's strength. Listen to this. Keep going. Hmm. There you go. It says, Lord, empty me of me so that I can be filled with you. Yeah. That's good. Amen. Man, you need to write that down. You know, you empty me. You know, I, I said it like this before. Yeah. I said, you know what? You got to dethrone yourself because you've been on the throne. And yeah. guess what? You're in a big mess. Big mess. So you got to dethrone yourself and put the <laughs> King of Kings and Lord of Lords on the throne. Put him on the throne. Amen. Mm -hmm. And wait till you see the next one. I like the next one. <laughs> this is your Lord meter. <laughs> It tells you when you're full or when you're empty. E is not, does not stand for enough. <laughs> e means it's empty. And F means it's full. So fill me, Lord. <laughs> fill me up. Amen. You got to stay full. You know, you can't minister to people. You can't even minister to yourself if you're on empty. Mm -hmm. You got to get the word in you. Fill yourself up. Stay hungry. Stay hungry for the things of God. And get full of it. You know, he says, when your cup runneth over. You know, it says, out of your innermost being shall flow rivers of living water. Amen. Woo. You, you get so full, it's going to overflow. And that's what you want to do. You want to stay there overflowing all the time. Why? Because when you overflow, you're going to minister to people. And people are going to be blessed. Wow. Man, that's great. That's the way you want to keep yourself. Yeah. But you know what? If you're not feeding your spirit the word of God mm -hmm. and you're not renewing your word you're not renewing your mind with the word of God your flesh is going to take over and your yeah. flesh is going to say hey you know what God was playing today man I'm going to watch God, I'm going to watch football all day long <laughs> and you're going to run empty mm -hmm. you're going to run empty yes. and the enemy comes to steal uh -huh. kill and kill destroy mm -hmm. and we, we're helping him out yeah. 
And God said, I'm knocking, but nobody's letting me in. Amen. That's 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 the worst sign, you know. It's the, he's knocking and we're just ignoring him. You know, somebody called you and you look at it, you know, you know who it is. He said, Oh, I don't want to talk to him, man. It's oh it's got in you, no know, man. Hang up. <laughs> like he don't know, right? Right. <laughs> so fill me up, Lord, fill me up. Amen. But you know, you got to do the filling up. You got to yeah. get the word in you. You got to open it up and you got to read it. Amen. And get it in you so that you can, hey, you're going to a new level. You're not going to stay yes. in the same level. That's average. You remember? <laughs> There's an enemy called average. We're just going to stay easy. We're going to stay in this comfy zone, you know. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's time for you to move up. Amen. Gratiate. <laughs> Be like Jeff, though. You don't want to be in the what was it? Uh, sixth grade. Sixth grade forever. You know? Oh, no, no. You know? It would be like uh, the one that uh, say, hey, I buried my seed, you know? Because I didn't want to do anything. Mm. Well, you know, one day you're going to have to stand before him. And yeah. you're going to give an account. What did you do with what I gave you? That's it. And you say, well, I buried it, you know, because I didn't want to be involved in anything. I just want to straddle oh, the fence, yeah. you know, and do nothing and no, right or wrong. No, no. no, you're going to have me give an account. He says, you know what? Depart from me. I never knew you. Mm -hmm. Whose fault is it? It's mm -hmm. my fault and <laughs> not his fault. The problem's always here. He has no problems. Mm -hmm. It's us. We got to get yeah. this right. Amen. <laughs> Keep going. Mm -hmm. Man, this is good. Mm -hmm. So. Empty yourself of me so that he can fill, fill me up with him. It says, magnify him, not your cares, not your problems, not your worries, not your enemies. Mm -hmm. Amen. It says, we're champs at doing this. Get our priorities right daily on a daily basis. We're God's war warriors, not warriors. <laughs> we're sharing the gospel, the good news, not sharing the gossip than the bad news. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know what? If you hear some negative things, don't go sharing it. Yeah. <laughs> You're just passing it on. No. Just keep it. You know, say something else. Something good. You say, if you pray, yeah. don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to worry about it, why pray? Why pray? Mm -hmm. Makes sense, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Praise God. It says you're, mag you're magnifying, you're focusing on the wrong things. You're yes. letting... Uh, defeat, discouragement, and self pity rise up. Yeah. Turn that around and magnify God. Keep priorities in order. Let go and let God arise big daily. Yes. Let God be in control. Let yes. God be on the throne and keep God on the throne. He knows you better than anybody and loves you the most. And He wants what's best for you. Amen. <laughs> so praise God. Mm -hmm. Here we go. It says, Lord will fight for you, but you shall hold your peace and remain at, at rest. Exodus 14, 14. That's in the uh, Amplified. Amen. So, praise God. It says, you may be hurt now, but God is your restorer. God is yeah. your provider. He supplies all of your needs. He fights your battles. And you see him there. You see what he's doing. Amen. Exodus 14, 14. Oh, okay. Go to the next one. I like this one. It says, let the Lord fight your battles. Why? He hasn't lost oh, one yet. Yeah. <laughs> you want to be on a winning team? Mm -hmm. Be on God's team. Yes. Amen. Because if you're on the world's team, you lose. <laughs> I want to be on God's team. Yeah. Yeah. He's called us to be on his team. Mm -hmm. He's You've confessed him if you haven't. You know, you're watching, you're listening. If you have confessed him yet as your Lord and Savior, it's time. Why you keep putting it off? You want to be on a winning team? It's not. We're not talking about football, okay? Yeah. <laughs> it's football Sunday. No, <laughs> it's God's Sunday. <laughs> but if you want to be on a winning team, be on God's team. All you need to do is confess and Lord, I've, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come to my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And you'll be on God's winning, winning this team mm -hmm. for life. Amen. Amen. And for eternity. Yes. Amen. Praise Amen. God. When you start giving God glory and letting him rise up in your life, you cannot stay defeated. Your enemies will be scared. Yes. You'll tremble at your faith 
fill words. What am I going to start speaking? I'm going to start speaking the word of God. The word of God. Faith filled words. Amen. So I got to be more selective of what I speak. Death and life are in the power of the words you speak. So be careful how you talk now. You know, people say, you look the same, but you sound different. You ain't cussing. You're not cussing anymore. You're saying them Jesus words. Amen. <laughs> So I don't want to hang out with you. Good. I pray. I say, Lord, help me. I started losing friends. I say, get these devils from me. I started losing friends. So he brought new friends around. So praise God. Thank you, friends. <laughs> Thank God for my new friends. <laughs> Let God arise and have victory in Jesus yes. daily. Yes. Not just once in a while. Hit and miss, you know. But all the time. Amen. All the time. Keep, keep going. You see what you got, Carmen. <laughs> Yeah, leave it right there. Let God arise daily. Let is an action word. Yes. Let means you got to give God permission. Mm -hmm. You got to give Him total control. Mm -hmm. You got to surrender. Amen. Yes. You got to completely give it all to Him. Let Him allow Him to speak out. Mm -hmm. Amen. Or you speak His word. It says allow Him to participate in solving your problems. You, you got to make a choice. Let him. Let him. Amen. Allow him to participate in solving your problems. Just say, Lord, go ahead and do what's needed, what needs to be done. Mm -hmm. I'm trusting you. Have faith in you. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's what we need to do. We need to have faith in him. We need to have Amen. faith in what his word says. That's it. Amen. And if we're not confessing the word, mm -hmm. we're confessing the world. Mm -hmm. And we have to be careful. Yes. Because you can have what you what you say, yes, amen. And, and and another thing is, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens mm -hmm. us. We got to be strong in Him. Mm -hmm. And know, hey, you know what? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens. Yes. Lord, I need yeah. Your strength. Mm -hmm. I can change the way I am. I can change the way I do. I can change the way I speak. Yes. Amen. I can change. Let is also a powerful word. Involves your will. Yes. What is your will? Your will is your power. Your will is your drive, your motivation, your backbone. Yeah. I got to surrender my will to him. Let him, let your, let is a power, a powerful, power word. Mm -hmm. And that's your, includes your will, your choice, and your decision. Yeah. So Lord, I give you full control of my life. Amen. Amen. Surrender yourself to him. Just like he surrendered himself to the Father. Yes. And he allowed himself to be sacrificed. Amen. He surrendered himself before he gave himself back to the Father. Yes. First he says, forgive me, Lord. Amen. Psalms uh, 91, 1 through 3 in the easy to read version says this. You can go to the uh, God most high to hide. You can go to God all powerful for protection. I say to the Lord, you are my place of safety. My fortress, my God, I trust you. Mm -hmm. And verse 3 says, God will save you from hidden dangers and from deadly diseases. Yes. Amen. So praise God. Let's, let's, let's remember this. It, it's Psalms 91. You can read that on a daily basis. It, it's good to have. Amen. Praise God. He's there for you. Psalms uh, 101 and 2 says, keep going. Psalms 101 and 2 says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all you lands. Amen. Amen. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. The only yes. time we make noise is when we get around the wrong people. <laughs> or we get around an event or, or a game or, or you know, we, we, we just want to do all these things. Oh. But we get around God and we're so quiet. <laughs> we don't want to say anything. We don't want to do anything. The King James says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Yes. Serve the Lord with sadness, sadness. gladness. Yes. Come before his presence with singing. singing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you know what? If you hear me singing and you don't like it, it's too bad. Because <laughs> my God likes the way I sing. Yeah, exactly. So I'm not singing to you, I'm singing to him. Exactly. And he likes it, you know. So yeah. let's remember this. And you know what? I told the church earlier before uh, we came live, you know, we started streaming. Mm -hmm. I remember Paul and Silas, you know, mm -hmm. they got beat. And man, they have a, they, 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 they got a choice. Mm -hmm. They could either be mad, sad, mad and, and, and just have an attitude, a bad attitude. But instead, yeah. 
they came into his presence with singing they started singing they started praising god yes. amen they said well you know you're not a good singer <laughs> you're not a good yes. praiser they they would be they had all kinds of choices and they chose to praise their god amen. and guess what god heard yes. <laughs> god heard and god came and god showed up yes, big time so let god arise big daily yes Amen. And he showed up. And you know what? He said, I'm free. Yes, so did. whatever holding you back, praise him, you know, and let him show up and let him deliver you from whatever it is that's holding you back. Yes. Whatever it is holding you back from fulfilling mm -hmm. what he wants you to do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He didn't put you here to just sit. He didn't put you here to lose. He didn't put you here to be average. Mm -hmm. He put you here to be super natural yes. his super with your natural, your natural so you can do supernatural things for him yeah. amen Praise and God. he wants to use you all you need to do is make yourself available amen. be available for him to use you don't disqualify yourself and don't disqualify what he's already qualified That's amen it. the world friends or whoever is going to disqualify you mm -hmm. But God says, I'm already qualified. First, he says, I've called you, I've anointed you, and I've qualified you. Yes. So what's holding you back? What's holding you back? Only thing holding you back is mm -hmm. you. <laughs> mm -hmm. You look in the mirror, that's your biggest problem. We got to deal with this problem. Mm -hmm. And we got to get it right. And we got to line up yeah. with the Word of God and do what the Word of God says us to do. Amen. Woo, yes. hallelujah. We'll come back to that one, Carmen. Keep going. Here's another one here, Nehemiah 8.10. We, we're yes. doing just a, uh, a B part here. It says that the joy of the Lord is your strength. Again, the more joyful people in the world should be God's people. Yes. We know the truth. And the truth is going to set us free. You hear all kinds of negative things. But still, the truth is going to set you free. Mm -hmm. And we're going to occupy. And this is not our home. Heaven is our home. But we're passing through. But we're going to occupy and do what the Word of God tells us to do. And do, you know, take action. Yes. Amen. And be active in the things of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Sharing the Word. Bringing people to the kingdom of God. Amen. Yes. But the joy of the Lord is your strength. Yes. We're looking for other things. We're looking for other things to make you happy. Mm. Things. But he says the joy of the Lord will make you strong. Amen. Yes. Amen. That's my strength. Amen. That's what we need. We need it. He knows what's best for us. Amen. Amen. Let's keep going. Hallelujah. Numbers 10, uh, 35 says, And it came to pass when the ark set forth that Moses says, Rise up, Lord, and let thine enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee before thee. Uh -huh. Amen. So, let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. You know what? When we, when, when you rise up, every demon in hell says, oh man, right. she's up again. Yeah. He's up again. So you know what? It says, cast all cares on him. He says, submit yourself to God. Resist the devil. He's going to do what? Flee. He's going to flee. flee. Man, they see you stand up. Mm -hmm. They can't wait. Mm -hmm. They just going to run. They going to flee. Mm -hmm. They're out of here. <laughs> That's what I want. That's what you need. That's what you want. Amen. Ooh, praise God. So let God arise daily. Commit, submit, surrender to Him daily on a daily basis. Again, Matthew 6 33 is we got to get ourselves. Seek Him first. Seek Him first. You know, there's a lot of things that we can do, and there's a lot of things out there that you see and hear and want, you know, but still, Matthew 6 33, seek Him first. Seek Him first. Submit yourself to Him. Amen. Praise Him. Ooh, keep it going. Yeah, thank you, Lord. Yeah, again, your priorities, Matthew 6, 33, but seek first the kingdom of God, His righteousness, and all these other things shall be added unto you. New King James. Keep going. Mm. Well, James 4, 7 says, Submit to God. Resist. Submit. Mm -hmm. Therefore, submit to God. Resist the devil. He will flee from you. Yeah. When you resist Him, means you, you're taking authority. Yes. God has given us authority. He put Adam and Eve in the garden and he gave them authority. Yes, they had authority. Yes. Amen. Yes. So we need to get that authority and use that authority and speak it out, you know, and take Amen. the authority. Yes. Resist the devil and he's got to flee. Got to flee. You know what? <laughs> so he just a little run. You know, you saw David, 
and you thought a big giant? I said, man, you know man's still a giant. Mm -hmm. Well, God was back in David. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was just a little runt. Amen. A little shepherd boy mm -hmm. to be the greatest king Israel ever had. Mm -hmm. Amen. Just remember that. You may be little. You may be a little nobody. But God didn't see you that way, and God don't want you to stay that way. That's right. <laughs> greater is He that's in you than He greater. that's in the world. Amen. Amen. Greater, greater, greater is He. So see yourself the way He sees you. Amen. Don't see yourself down and out. Don't see yourself defeated. Mm -hmm. See yourself a winner, a champion, mm -hmm. because the greater one is in you. Amen. Amen. The Bible Amen. says that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. So praise God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're welcome in, in here. Amen. Praise God. Thank yeah. you, Lord. I'm going to honor him. Honor him. Amen. Praise God. Keep going. This is good. I like this. So praise him. Mm -hmm. Rejoice and be glad daily. Psalms yeah. 118, 24 says what? This is the day. Every day you should, this should be one of your prayers. This should be yeah. one, of, one of your prayers. It says, this is the day the Lord has made. I will. It says, we will, or I will, or Jose will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. But it's raining, but it's snowing, but it's too sunny out there. <laughs> Regardless. Oh <my laughs> Regardless. <God. laughs> I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, yeah, Lord, for giving me this Lord. new day to serve you. Yes. Amen. When we put the work ahead of God, then we start piling up all the cares and all the concerns and all the problems on us. Mm -hmm. Say, wait a minute, we're supposed to give it to him. Mm -hmm. Cast it on him. Give it to him. I'm going to rejoice and be glad because Amen. I can give it to him. Yes. <laughs> and I'm going to rejoice in this new beautiful day he's given me. Amen. To serve him. <clears throat> to honor him. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Sit and keep your priorities right. Yes. Don't mix them up. Just remember this. I mean, you got to write them down or whatever, but keep your priorities set right. God first. Amen. Your spouse second. Your children third. And your job fourth. Okay? So that's Jose. God first. Your spouse if you're married. Your children if you have children. And your job. And know what your job responsibilities are know that you're a child of God and what am I supposed to do as a child of God mm -hmm. amen know that you can do all things through Christ yeah. Philippians 4 13 amen I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me yes praise God you, and know that greater keep going honey. okay yeah leave it right there mm -hmm. it says praising him giving thanks daily Psalms uh, 100 and verse 4 says what? Enter his gates with thanksgiving, enter his courts with praise, give thanks to him, and bless his name. Bless his name. You know, Paul and Silas. Mm -hmm. But Lord, I'm not going to praise you now, you know, because I'm mad. Yeah. Because <laughs> I got beat, and I was preaching your word. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I just want to let you know, <laughs> I ain't got time to praise you right now. <laughs> No, we got to get the right attitude. Yes. You know what? The best attitude to have, we talked about last week. Yeah. The best attitude to have is gratitude. Mm -hmm. Gratitude is the best attitude you can have. Amen. An attitude of saying thank you and being thankful. Yeah. Because he's given unto us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Amen. And Jesus gave his best. Amen. We need to give our best. Amen. Keep going. This is good. Amen. We're not going to finish all this. But that's all right. And here's another one. Praising Him. It says in 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. First it says, Rejoice evermore. Mm -hmm. Pray without ceasing. Yes. And in everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. Praise God, man. I, you know, when you're confessing, you, know, you can't go wrong. <laughs> and the enemy don't want to hear this. No. The enemy wants to say, hey, time out. You know, the Cowboys are playing. <laughs> you know, there's no. football games on today. Mm. <laughs> no. He wants to still kill and destroy. He wants to throw a, he, he, he just wants to throw a, the wrong kind of pass at you, you know. And say, hey, Robot. time out. Time out. 
No, it's called distractions. It's called sin. It's called distractions, okay? So let's remember that. <laughs> Keep going, Colonel. One more. Again, Philippians 4 and 6 says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. Ooh, man. Amen. Give it, give, give it to him. You know, I mean, we got, we, we got to catch this. We, we have to release it. We have to give it, cast it on him yes. because he cares for us. He says, be anxious for nothing. Nothing. This world wants you to be anxious. Mm -hmm. This world wants you to have, be enraged. Yes. Be concerned. Mm -hmm. Man, throwing all kind of distractions your mm -hmm. way, so that you can be all concerned. And I says, uh uh. I'm not I'm not taking it. It's not for me. It's not mine. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. One more. Right there. And we'll stop right here. It says we give thanks. Ephesians 5 20 says, giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Who paid for it? He paid for it all. Paid Jesus did. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we give them thanks. You know, when you don't know what else to say, just say, thank you. Yes. Amen. But at least I have an attitude of gratitude and give them thanks to him. Amen. So praise God. We'll close right there. And then we'll pick it up uh, another day. Amen. But in closing, since the individual in the body of Christ that wants to experience a fresh move of God has got to be willing to say, let God arise. And let his enemies be scattered. Yes. We got to let him arise. Let him allow him. Yes. We got to let. Remember, let is an action word. Yes. Amen. We got to let him take, do this, you know. <gasps> let go and let God, church. Yes. Quit trying to hold him down. Quit trying to put limits on him. Yes. Stop putting limitations on his arising. He wants to yes. rise up. Amen. We got to let him. God's nature is to rise up. So let God arise big in you. Amen. Daily. Amen. Did you catch something? Yes. <laughs> well, praise God. It blessed me. I hope it blessed you. <laughs> Bless my socks off. <laughs> you can't see them. But anyway, those of you watching, those of you listening, you know, if you haven't accepted him, now's the time, you know. Say, hey, you want to be on the winning team? Well, be on God's winning team. But you have to confess him as your Lord and Savior. Yes. And all you have to say, Lord, I've sinned against you. Come to my life. Yes. Be my Lord and Savior. You know what? He'll receive you and accept you and say, you know what? It's time for you to get up, dust yourself, and press on. I've got to think great things for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Get yourself in a Bible-based church where well, you can start learning about yeah. Christ. You know, yeah. Start learning about Him. Open your Bible. Yes. Get you a Bible and open it up and start reading and get the Word in you so it can start coming out of you. Amen. Yes. Woo, praise God. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. If you have sickness in your body, I speak to my body all the time and I say, line up with the word of God. Mm -hmm. I don't receive this sickness. I don't receive this malfunctions in this body. By Jesus Christ, I am healed from head to toe. And yes. I receive my healing now. So body, line up with the word and be healed and receive yes. your healing now in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Woo. Yes. So it's time to give. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Our website, it should be on our screen there, NBCBigBand.com. Hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas 79843. And for Cash App, go to New Beginnings Church of the Big Band. God loves you and we love you. And remember, let God arise big in you daily. Amen. Amen. Praise God. God bless.